we're now deploying a number of programs to cover those skills gaps to close them. So we've got a really competent workforce here. And the gaps that we saw in Australia are no different than in the US, in Germany. So don't think that, oh, it's an Australian problem. Skills gaps have been shown to be a worldwide problem. My name's Jared Belcher. I'm the director of the Ready Initiative at MTP Connect. MTP Connect, where the Industry Growth Centre will set up in, as a government initiative in 2015 as one of six priority areas to grow the Australian economy. Uh, our main thing is to grow the MTP sector. To us, MTP is medtech, pharma, biotech, digital health, so to grow the whole sector. And we do that by increasing collaborations across the sector. The Ready Initiative is a $32 million MRFF funded initiative to define the skills gaps across the industry and we've defined 81 skills gaps and did a deep dive on 24 and now we're deploying programs to fill those skills gaps. Sovereign manufacturing production was seen as a major issue during the COVID pandemic and that we needed to improve Australian manufacturing. We have lots of small companies coming up with great ideas for manufacturing biologics, pharmaceutics, therapeutics but training of their staff is not a core competency of them. We wanted to help those small companies to manufacture under GMP standards and to do that we got a leading training provider, CBE, to deliver the training on their behalf to enable a GMP qualified workforce that will grow the Australia's medtech sector. My name is Steve Williams and I'm one of the senior partners at CBE, Proprietary Limited. We're a consulting firm specialising in uh, biotech and uh, biological manufacture. But as Jared mentioned, the origin of uh, the GMP Uplift program is really around ensuring that biopharmaceutical companies uh, train their, their people professionally. Uh, they're heavily it's a heavily regulated industry, and so the GMP training component of that is essential and is checked by regulatory agencies such as TGA and FDA uh, when, when they provide licences to companies. The GMP Uplift program has two levels. One is an entry level, which we've called Essentials. There are six core modules for entry level people up to 12 to 18 months. And there are four elective modules, uh, which are technology based. And the students can take two of the four electives. So that's the entry level program. But we also have uh, developed an advanced level program for people who've been in the industry for a longer period of time, wanting to expand their knowledge uh, particularly around risk management, quality systems, aseptic practices and so forth. Steve's had over or close to 50 years experience in uh, biopharmaceuticals, uh, 30 as a consultant, works with some of the largest, the best companies around the world and a lot, large portion of what he does is into skills and training. So over to you, Steve. Uh, th thanks, Jared. Um, I was thinking back in preparation for this talk, but I started my career at CSL back in early 70s, so give you an indication of my age. CBE was formed in 2014 with a vision to provide uh, professional services to the biopharmaceutical industry within Australia but also within Asia. We have uh, eight very uh, experienced professional partners within the business who uh, have expertise ranging from uh, clinical trial, um, drug development, good manufacturing practice, quality management, clean room design, uh, engineering and validation. Welcome to the CBE boardroom. My name's Jeff, and we're here today to talk about the GMP Uplift program. And this is now an opportunity to meet uh, the people from CBE that will be delivering it. Why is the READY program important, Jeff? Rach, the sector is growing really rapidly at the moment. And, and with that expansion, there is a need to bring on trained staff. Uh, and, and there's a shortage of trained staff. So it's a really important to have these programs in place. And it's particularly important for the smaller companies who actually don't have the resources to do this training. The GMP Uplift Essentials program is really broken into six core modules which talk about the fundamentals of GMP with appropriate case studies. Then the student will move on to choosing two or four electives, which are more specialised technology, after that, on day four, they're going to come together to talk through Q&A and additional case studies. And then on the fifth day, we're going to take them through experience inside a factory where they get to practice some of the concepts we've talked about. It's really designed for um, entry-level people who've had maybe up to one to two years. Uh, this is to help them orientate towards 
you know, what goes on in a factory, what their behaviours should be, uh, and how would they apply GMP in practice? Students will learn about clearly GMP, but also the fundamental understanding, working through the code itself, but it's also entailing practical examples and experience that we can bring to working in a GMP environment. Alison, why is the GMP Uplift program different? The CBE GMP Uplift program is very different from most theoretical based programs. It is hands-on, it provides people the opportunity to fit their book learning with experiential. It uses real life case studies to demonstrate the points. So it helps people engage with the learning. As consultants, we're at the, at the coalface every day. We see all the common problems. We see all the issues that um, industry is seeing every day. And we, you know, as part of that job is we need to interpret the code, the GMP code, to be able to provide a, you know, appropriate response. Morris, what is the GMP Uplift Advanced Program? The Advanced Program is really for those people who have been in industry for a bit longer, maybe a year or so. Um, and what we're going to do is take a bit more of a deep dive into some of those subject areas that we know are a bit tricky. And we bring another perspective. So if you've been working in a company, you're already going to have the company policies and procedures around you, some understanding. We're going to give you an outside perspective of what we've seen. Subjects like risk assessment, very difficult even for an experienced person to still get a good grasp of that. Validation, more, you know, more detail into the quality assurance and auditing techniques that we would use in the industry. So it's really about building or rounding that person more as an individual within the industry. We've searched far and wide for guest lecturers. All of the lecturers are industry based, the guest lecturers. Uh, we've got some international lecturers as well who are experienced with, say, FDA or uh, EMA, uh, as well as Australian-related uh, uh, guest lecturers. Hi, my name's Morris Parlane from CBE. I'm here today with uh, Matt Shearer. And today I'm here joined with Rebecca Kramer from there. Well, I'm looking at our systems and our Robin, I've enjoyed our discussion around quality control laboratories here today. For MTP Connect have been more than just providers of funds. We've worked with Jared and his team to design a program that's going to be suitable uh, for the industry. Uh, they've reviewed that program uh, and ticked it off. Um, but they're over overseeing the performance though, which we welcome. And from MTP Connect Ready's point of view, we've been extremely pleased with the way CBE have gone about developing the program and then implementing it. There is a real need in the industry for high quality GMP training and we're very fortunate to have CBE as a partner to deliver that.